Marcy Degman, the Aspiring Gardener, and today we're going to make homemade bird seed. And what that means is that we're going to buy the different types of seed and mix it according to what works best for the birds visiting our garden. Now, it's kind of hard to know at first what's going to go best in your area. So what you can do is you can go and find a store where they sell it by the pound and buy a little bit of each kind of seed that they have. Here I have what you call a squirrel mix, which, which a lot of people like to put that in one feeder in hopes that the squirrels will stay in that feeder and maybe avoid the other feeders that you'd intended for birds. So it's got corn and seeds and, and a lot of good stuff, and I think there's probably larger birds that also like that. This is your typical wild bird seed, which has millet, sometimes it'll have flax, it has sunflower seeds, but I think predominantly the light colored seed is millet and that's what it mostly has. So while it's the most inexpensive, unless you know that the birds visiting your garden will eat the millet, a lot of times it ends up on the ground and it sprouts and it becomes a mess. Here I've got Niger thistle seed, which is probably your most expensive seed, but a lot of people like to bring in the, the yellow house finches and this is their favorite. So it, it depends on what you're drawing, but if you want finches, this is probably the best seed, and usually that's put in a feeder by itself. The most common seed for most birds is the black oil sunflower seed, which I found to be the best one for my garden, and I've gone to the point where that's pretty much all I put out because they eat every single seed. But what I did to come to that point was I started with maybe two thirds of this wild bird mix. And then I would put, you know, a little bit more seed at a time and just kind of see how much of what disappeared. And again, maybe even a half and half mix is a pretty good thing to start with. Now, if you want to, you can put this Niger thistle in with it but you have to make sure that the type of feeder you have isn't going to cause it to fall to the ground because it is really expensive. So if you're going to use a tray feeder or some type of feeder where it'll hold the seed, then this is okay to mix it right in. If you don't and you have a, a upright feeder, it has to have small holes that will hold the Niger thistle feed in. So buy as many kinds as you can, try them, see what happens, see what disappears, find the best mix. The most affordable mix you're going to find is the one that the birds are going to eat, not the one that's going to be on the ground turning to seed. So see what works in your garden, buy them by bulk, try things out, you'll find out the best homemade bird seed for you.